kicking me. The beautiful thing about Instagram is it gives me so much activewear inspo. The terrible thing about Instagram is it gives me so much activewear inspo. He's so fluffy! Hello my friends! Welcome back to Hopescope. I have been M.I.A. from YouTube this last week. Sorry about it. But I seriously have so much great stuff coming this week. I'm excited about it. Leo is excited about it. So make sure you are subscribed to Leo and I so you don't miss out on that. And also make sure that you have your notifications turned on so that you can be first on the scene when the vids hit. Instagram! is literally enabling my activewear addiction to the max. Like their targeted advertising is on point. At this point, my wallet is just sitting at the bottom of my purse in the fetal position begging for mercy. I don't got none, hun. There's definitely gonna be more of these videos in the future because I'm not even scratching the surface of the things that Instagram has and will make me buy. What is it, boy? <laughs> Leo. It's fine. Those neighbors don't like me anyway. I think they just wonder why I spend so much time on my front porch in a sports bra. Do it for the tube! If there are any internet sensations in the form of leggings or otherwise related activewear that I haven't reviewed yet and you'd like to see, comment below and let me know. All the gear that I talk about, of course, will be linked down in the description box below. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies, so I don't really care if you buy any of it. But you do you, booze. It is there for your shopping pleasure. You're the weirdest. Got it from his mama. All right, let's go. Relentless. My husband Tyler has actually been following this brand on Instagram for a while and they just recently came out with a women's line. Overall, this brand is pretty affordable and they do ship worldwide. The first thing I got are the Fit Panel Leggings. These were $38.56 USD. I think they're like Australian or UK based or something. I got mine in black, but they also come in gray. They have the drop V stitching on the bum, which I've seen all over the internet, but I haven't tried it yet. It's supposed to make your booty look real nice. They have the mesh panels on the front, but they have an angulation to them, which I personally think is more flattering than when the panels are just horizontal like you see in most leggings. They are flex fit, meaning they're a lightweight polyester or spandex material that moves with your body rather than has like a compression lifting tummy control feel. My only complaint, which is the same complaint that I have with most startup slash Instagram activewear companies. I'm like a size four or a six. I got a size medium in these items and they're a little tight. And this brand only goes up to a size large. Not super inclusive. The next item that I got is the strap back sports bra. This thing is so freaking cute. It's very, very sexy though. Like, I don't know if I'm comfortable wearing this to the gym just by itself. It might just find a permanent home in my lingerie drawer. This was $26.99 and I got a medium, but I really could have gotten a large in this. I don't consider myself to have a larger than normal chest. It just runs small. The design is very, very unique though. I love how strappy the back is and I love the mesh detailing and cutouts on the front. It's a lightweight, breathable material, even though the fit itself is slightly suffocating. It doesn't help that the high neck comes up so high. It is padded and I would say it is a solid medium support sports bra. The next item that I got has been very highly requested the past couple weeks and they are the bombshell leggings. I honestly didn't like them at all when I first started seeing them around the internet and then they kind of grew on me. They have the sock leggings and then they have the thigh high leggings. Leo, what are you doing? Do your pets ever just like stare really intently down the hall at nothing and it really freaks you out? I got the thigh high ones. They're a little on the pricey side, which made me very apprehensive to get them, but boy, they are worth every penny. These are probably my new favorite leggings and I'm probably gonna go get them in every color. These ones were $86. I got mine in a size small and these are the turquoise ones. They are produced in the USA, which is an added bonus. The website describes the material as soft, silky, and breathable, and that is all on point. I'll put the fabric details right here. Like it's really thin, but at the same time, it's completely squat proof. And it hides sweat pretty well, surprisingly. I did a full leg day and I was sweating pretty good through that and it wasn't showing. And then at the end of it, I did some cardio. And then during that, I started to get the, I wet my pants syndrome happening a little bit. They have an elastic waistband and it's literally the most comfortable elastic waistband I've ever worn. I generally try to stay away from elastic waistbands. If you're a fan of the Gymshark flex legging and fit legging, you would love how these feel. They're like fit legging 2.0. My only complaint with these leggings 
is the camel toe. I think it's mostly because I have such a long torso that in order for the elastic waistband to hit me in a comfortable spot, I have to kind of hike them up, which causes them to hike up. The website says benefits are does not pill shrink or fade. I will for sure be doing a follow up on that because if I'm gonna pay more than like 40 bucks for a pair of leggings, they better be lasting me a while. The top part of the legging is this space dye color, and then the bottom part of the legging actually has perforations in it. They're definitely a flex fit, so they're not super compressing. I have a whole bunch of items from this next brand, and it is called Red Olive. This brand was started by Instagram fitness guru Angelica Kathleen. And it's a fairly new brand. I don't even think it's been around for a whole year. And I was seriously blown away by the quality for how new of a brand it is. This brand does ship worldwide. The first thing that I got are the soft body contour leggings. These are $63. I got mine in a size small. They're high waisted. They have a compression waistband as well as a thin elastic that runs along the very top. They're made from a breathable polyester spandex material. They feel a lot like the Lululemon Align Pant, maybe slightly thicker. They have this ruching right above the bum which I thought was gonna be obnoxious but once they're on it's so subtle these ones do give camel toe I feel like any sort of legging that's a soft flexible fit has a front seam and no crotch gusset bound to happen the next thing I got is the show-off bra this was $26.99 and it is so flippin cute with this cutout in the middle and the mesh on the top it's very breathable medium support it does have padding this is a weird detail but I really like how the arm whole cutouts are shaped because it doesn't cause that like awkward scrunchy bunchy boob fat rollage. You know what I mean. I also got the talk back crop for $35.99. So it's a three quarter sleeve crop top that has built in padding and it's extremely supportive, which I was definitely not expecting. That way you don't have to wear a bra with it so that you can really showcase that ladder style back off. It's very fitted. It's a polyester spandex material, so it's not incredibly breathable, but it's so freaking cute that I'll forgive it for that. The last thing I got are the mesh body contour leggings. These were $68. I got them in a size small and they might be my new favorite pair of black leggings. They have the high waist and then these mesh panels that run all the way up the side of the leg. There's also a mesh pocket on the right side. I've tried the mesh up the side thing and I generally don't like it because it just showcases all the lumps and bumps and cellulite but this mesh is dark enough that it kind of camouflages and they are definitely squat proof. Overall I highly recommend this brand. I think that the designs are super unique and I am very impressed with the quality. Raise your hand if you have seen this thing all over every social media feed ever. I hope it's just you. You're the only person that follows 200 plus activewear accounts on Instagram. Okay, I know I'm not the only one because so many of you guys have been requesting me to review this brand, Senita, which I gladly did because they have pockets on everything. And all of this stuff is pretty freaking affordable. The first thing I wanted to try are the Rio shorts. They're these high-waisted shorts with pockets, which this style of short has been all over Instagram, so I figured I would give their version a try. They're 3.75 inch inseam, which is a really, really nice length. I do wish that they were a tiny bit more high-waisted though. These particular ones are in the color Cactus Flower and they were only $22. I got mine in a size small and they do have a nice compression fit, but they do ride up a little bit and cost camel toe. I would say these are very comparable to the buff bunny shorts that I just reviewed in my last video. The next thing is the Sarah sports bra. This was $26 and this is the pattern Bahamas. It does come in just some solid colors as well. I got this in a size medium and it is honestly one of the most comfortable sports bras I now own. It has the razor back with the cutout at the bottom as well as the little pocket in the back. It's a decent sized pocket. It fits my iPhone plus very nicely. It's a medium support and it's made from a cool spandex material and it is padded. It also has this nice thick elastic band that runs along the bottom. The last thing I got are the high-waisted pants. These are only 39 bucks. I got mine in a size small in the color midnight blue. These are high-waisted leggings that have the two side pockets and they also have the hidden waistband pocket. It's like a decent sized waistband pocket too. I would say these are better quality than Victoria's Secret knockouts, better than Gymshark sculpture leggings, not quite 
the quality of Lululemon all the right places. Pretty comparable to Buff Bunny Luna leggings. Seriously though, for $39, these are a steal. If you've been in the market to get this style of legging but haven't wanted to spend the money, this is probably where you should spend it. A lot of the colors are sold out right now, but I know at least in this color, most if not all of the sizes are in stock. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is from Workouts Empire. I swear this brand has been popping up in my Instagram advertisements more than any other brand. And then I saw this top and my jaw dropped because it's a total dupe of the Nikki Blackett or Gymshark backdrop crop, even down to the like crisscross detailing at the top. So for all of you that weren't able to grab one of those when the launch happened, here you have it. They have this black and white one as well as an all black one. I got mine in a size small. It is a thinner material. It doesn't say what it's made out of, but it feels like a spandex polyester. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of everything. We'll see you guys later this week for some more in-depth reviews and other hope scope shenanigans. Bye YouTube! <laughs> Leah! I'm trying to do an outro! Say bye YouTube! Whoa! <laughs> Leah! Say bye YouTube! We out.